incredible ocean way in the back. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Dave K here today. So excited for another fun-filled Hawaii adventure with you here today. Today, a couple of places I'd like to visit. If possible, I'd like to go back to Hotel Renew, see if I'm interested in staying there. Maybe I'll ask them if I can see a room, if possible. I want to try some new food in the area, so I'm thinking about maybe the Rainbow Drive-In. I heard the plate lunches are something I should try. Sounds really interesting. Quite a bit of wheat there with the mac and cheese salad, I think, and the rice, but we'll give it a shot, maybe if possible, and then just keep the wheat going, possibly. I'm thinking about walking all the way up to Leonard's Malasadas. Strangely enough, Leonard's is only about 35 minute walk from where I'm at right now, about a mile and a half, and Rainbow Drive-In is about halfway there. So I'm thinking, well, I'll be walking in that direction, enjoy some views with you. Let's check out Rainbow Drive-In. Maybe we'll keep making our way to Leonard's, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I'm not sure if I should even eat the sugary items, but it's a great spot, so might be worth going back to visit. I also still need to do my grocery shopping. We haven't done that yet, and the time is flying by, so we're going to need to get some groceries. But how much groceries do we really need? So maybe a little bit of grocery shopping, maybe some souvenir shopping as well. I also don't want too many items on me right now because I'm going to need to move from place to place when I transition to a new hotel, if I transition to a new hotel, but still might be nice to have some souvenirs and some food for the week ahead. Let's do it. Starting my day off the right way by the pool. I do want to spend some time in this pool, but I'm really here for the sunscreen. As per the huge, let me get some of that and keep myself from burning in the Hawaiian sun. Stay safe out there, y'all. I still want to talk to the front desk about getting that free bag. I think there's a bag that says Hilton and Hawaii has a little turtle on it, which looks really cool, but uh, they're a little bit busy right now. So I'm going to make my way to that first stop, the Hotel Renew, if we can. We'll take a look at that one, and at some point we'll do dinner. But we got some time here tonight, so let's go enjoy it. Although it's not the most efficient way to get to Hotel Renew, I'm taking my favorite path to get to Hotel Renew. That's the beach way, walking down towards that ocean front, which I always do. I'm gonna walk all the way down that way. I feel more comfortable on the beach, but I also really enjoy those views on the beach. I'm gonna walk all the way down and through, and then back in towards Hotel Renew. It's only a couple extra blocks, and the walk doesn't hurt, especially along these Hawaii beaches, oh yeah. I mean, how can you not choose this walking path when it's the option? Right along the beach, look at those beautiful palm trees and the waves in the ocean in the background. I absolutely love it. The wind's picking up here, so I'm gonna try to hold on to my hat as I make my way down. It can be windy and rainy sometimes, but otherwise, so far, the weather has been beautiful. Awkward, I slightly overshot my first destination walking back down this way, but this way you get to see the sign for Wolfgang Puck Express right here under the Aston Waikiki Beach Hotel. Seems like the location of this one's pretty good. Don't know what that building itself is like, what the lobby's like, but down this way is my building. So here we are back at Hotel Renew. Let's see if they're a little bit less busy today. If we can take a look in that lobby, who knows? We'll find out shortly, but it's a nice area. I think the area is pretty good. Only a couple blocks from the beach. I like it. Let's step inside. I was wondering if it would be possible for me to, to see uh, one of the rooms. Maybe someone can show me. Cool, um, after four and before, is it before six? Somewhere between four and six, would that be the right? Okay, cool, cool. Very friendly people here at Hotel Renew. Nice of them to let me know. Have to come back after four. So it sounds like between four and six would be my time. So we'll see if we can come back later between four and six. The food spot shouldn't be far. Maybe we go for food, come back here, and then go to the Leonard's. We'll, we'll see, see how things shake out. I've decided that beach direction was a little bit crowded for today. So I'm walking this other direction instead. Since we only had a few more blocks, one more block really along the beach. I'm walking down this way. That was Diamond Head back there on the right down that way. Very cool. So we're gonna walk this way and then make a right turn, be back on that Diamond Head Road and we'll walk the rest of the way to the Rainbow Drive-In. I like it. About to make a right here on Kuhio and I'm passing the Hyatt Plaza. Looks like our Hyatt Place. I was close. I was trying to eyeball it and I was off, but making the right turn here towards Diamond Head. Let's check that one out. Oh yeah. Walking in this direction towards the Diamond Head, sort of from behind, is cool. We can see a lot of little either apartment buildings or hotels back here. It's really interesting, these streets of Waikiki, how they're all formatted and formulated. You can see everyone has a very different vibe depending upon which way you turn. I'm not sure if maybe that's the Aqua Oasis. It almost looks like it is, but walking down this way and we will be making that turn to head towards 
Rainbow Drive-In. America's Diner. Does that mean this is Denny's? Because that's a Denny sign, and here's the America's Diner. That's a really cool looking Denny's, if that's what this is on our right. Just as we make it to that street where we intersect with Diamond Head, we'll make a left up here, I think, to keep making our way down to our destination. Beautiful to be back in the bright, grovey, grassy nature park town. I guess I could describe this better. It's the less developed part of the area. So you have more nature as opposed to so many of those buildings, which is really nice. Nice to be able to embrace nature out here. You do have a few buildings, like on our left, maybe a school over here. Some bikes you can rent. Maybe I should actually rent a bike at one point. That'd be cool. And that way I could uh, take one of these and bike off to my destination, whether that may be Leonard's Malasadas or off to another destination like the Rainbow Drive-In, but I hadn't thought about that. I wonder if there are bike parking spots along our way because that would be great because Ubers can be expensive. It would also probably be faster to bike myself there. But then is there a way to lock the bike once I get to my destination? I'm not so sure. Maybe they're just for touring, driving around. Oh, maybe I should do that one day. Get a head strap perhaps, put you on a head strap or maybe one that sticks to my hand somehow, like my arm and bike around with you in my hand. That would be really cool. Then we could see it all really efficiently. That might be an idea for another day. There's so many ideas for so many other days here. Can't do it all in such little time, but we'll try to do as much as we can. And look at this beautiful view of Diamond Head back there in the distance you can see. I'm so excited to climb that one of these days. As I make my way to that dinner destination, just wanted to showcase those views. You gotta love all the sights here in Hawaii. Making it to this intersection area here, I'm starting to slowly angle in this direction, a little bit more to the left as I'm turning, but you can see more of these neighborhoods, of the nature, of the trees and grass, the rocks and foliage as I make this turn. This is more of an open area as well. You can see gas prices too. That doesn't seem like it's as bad as California. I have noticed that it seems like hotels are actually more expensive, in my opinion, than California, but it seems like the gas is okay. Who knows? Maybe uh, that's not the case. Maybe I'm just in one spot and I got lucky. But beautiful views all around us. Back the way we came from over there and every other direction we look. On our left, the Ala Wai Golf Course. I don't really see where the golfing is done out here. Looks like maybe they're working on building the golf course. I'm not really sure. There is some construction up in that direction. And we're almost there to the Rainbow Drive-In. Hopefully I can walk in too, because I'm not driving, but we'll see. Here's another set of those bikes. Bikey, B-I-K-I, is that bikey? Probably. The Diamond Head number 504 here. I'm interested to learn more about these machines, how much they cost and all that. Looks like one way is $4. One ride up to 30 minutes, $4. And then multi-stop, $25 plus tax. That one's 30 minutes. This one's 300 prepaid minutes on a bike. I can do multiple trips to any bike station, use the minutes today, tomorrow, anytime I like. Very cool. I'm thinking maybe, again, if you could just do a one-way $4 trip, you'd be paying an extra $4.30 per 30 minutes. So it's only for 30 minutes you get that initial cost and every additional 30 minutes is $4. That'd be cool. I don't know exactly if there'd be a bike stop along the way, but there might be. And if there is, well then we're in a good spot too. So this is a nice idea. Might end up trying that at some point. Just something to keep in mind. It seems like a lot of people are doing it too. I'm not the only one with the idea. People biking all over the place out here. So it looks like the Rainbow Drive-In is right there across the street. I see a little Rainbow Drive-In sign above that word Coca-Cola. So maybe I can make my way over there. There it is, way in the back, Rainbow Drive-In. And they have a rainbow headboard to the venue as well. That might be cool to check out. We'll see, make our way over there and let you know what we think. I just have to figure out how I'm gonna cross now. I made it, it was tricky to traverse and I waited for a good few minutes. Beautiful diamond head in the background. Let's check out Rainbow Drive-In. I heard this one is like the one to try. So it looks kind of small and like one you may not have heard of. It looks very local, but I mean, I'm told it's where it's at. So let's see what we can do. Here's the venue. I thought I had to wait on that side, but I guess that's phone pickup. So here's what it looks like from here. We'll take a look at that menu, figure out what sounds good, maybe some recommendations, and we'll be on our way. Do a plate lunch, maybe a mixed plate. Anything else? Uh, I think that's it. 10.99. So I'm taking my food on the go as I make my way to Leonard's Bakery. I want to make sure I'm back at that hotel in time to take a look at it when they have someone there to show me around. Really want to make sure I check out Renew. So walking down this way now, it's about half a mile to Leonard's Bakery, about 15 more minutes, and then we'll be on our way. 
take a look at my mixed plates as I'm making my way. I must admit, it didn't sound amazing, but it smells fantastic. Mahi on the top, then the barbecue beef, and on the bottom looks like that boneless chicken. Oh yes, so excited to dig in when I get the chance here and let you know what we think. If this Safeway on the left looks familiar, it's because that's where Michael and I sat to enjoy some Starbucks and eat our malasadas from Leonard's Bakery last time we were here. That means we're close, only another three blocks and then we will have our food. And then the question becomes, do we see if they're open inside for us to eat it there? Or should we try to eat it somewhere along the way, like right there, this table, who knows? It's gonna be tricky with seating in the current climate, but we'll see. Would you look at that? We got some turkeys enjoying some chicken. Hold on a second, turkeys enjoying chicken. Maybe they're just eating the pasta on that side of us. Right here in front of us, Leonard's Bakery. Haven't been here in years. Now that I've been to Hawaii twice, I'll have been to Leonard's Bakery twice, wow. Sounds like we're developing a theme here, a common habit whenever we're in this state. Doesn't sound like a bad one, you know? Walk in, grab some donuts, maybe take them to Safeway. We'll see. Looks like here are the options. If you look at the window, a few different options here. Excited to give them a shot. Maybe I'll do the macadamia or the guava. We'll see, see what they got. Back inside. Hey, Hi. how's it going? Good, how are you? Doing well, doing well. It's been years. Fine, yeah, for sure. I feel like maybe I'll do the macadamia and the guava. Okay. What's the, the special uh, passion fruit? Uh, the lily koi. Lily koi, okay. Um, I think I'll stick with, well, you know what, let's do those three. The lily koi? Yeah, those three. Anything else? I think that's it. So I ordered three malasadas here. Gonna step outside, wait for the order. Should be about four minutes. So many delicious options, but we got three here today. We'll let you know what we think. Gonna wait outside. Here's a sign to give you an idea of the flavors and the pricing yet again. I got the macadamia, the guava, and the lily koi. Let's see how they are here today. I'm sure they'll be great. And just like that, our malasadas are ready from Leonard's Bakery. Three of them right in there. Seems like a small bag, but I'm sure it'll be great. I got this big box too. Making our way probably to Safeway. See if we can maybe get some tea or some coffee so we can sit at those tables and enjoy our food. Let's do it. You know, as I approach this Safeway, thinking to myself, oh, it'll be great to sit down, have a table, maybe grab a Starbucks. I'm realizing I also needed groceries. Maybe this is the place to shop for groceries too. Didn't even think about it. So maybe we'll take a look around, see if we can get a couple of items just for lunches and such. I think that might be nice. Look at the size of this Safeway, it's massive. So, you know, plenty of space for us to sit back, relax, enjoy some coffee and such. And they've got plenty of queues as well. Although many of them seem to be closed right now. I'm not sure if we'll have a table back there in the back. I guess we'll find out. If not, maybe we'll have to eat outside. Who knows? So it seems like the table that used to be back here is not here right now. Maybe we'll eat outside and then come back inside for groceries. I think that's probably a good way to go because there's a few things we need, but I want to eat first, you know? Because then I'm carrying around all this stuff while I'm shopping. Makes it a little bit trickier, you know? All right, I found a table outside. They say practice social distancing, but I got my own space, which is good. I'm gonna eat it right here, try the Leonard's, but let me try the food first, the drive-in, let you know what we think. Oh yeah, a little bit of shade here in a way too to prevent wind but still a bit windy we'll see all right so let us start off with this beautiful looking mixed plate from the plate lunch from the rainbow dine-in drive-in let you know what we think here in a moment and it's a little windy so i may just review after action i think that's probably the best way to go here we'll see just tried some of that rainbow drive-in not bad by any means i don't feel like any of the flavors particularly pop or stand out that chicken's pretty standard i think the mahi mahi is probably my favorite meat the barbecue beef just tastes like a standard meat to me. Maybe almost like a deep fried steak, but without the fried part. The chicken fried steak, but without the fried. Just like a thin flank steak there. Again, more bland flavors, nothing particularly flavorful. But the combination of these flavors is really nice. I like that macaroni salad and the rice with the meats. I feel like it does make for a nice combination of flavors. Again, nothing particularly amazing, but not bad by any means. And I imagine a staple here in Hawaii. Overall, solid option. I could see myself trying it again. Now, maybe let's try those malasadas. Or maybe we'll step inside because I got a shop and I smell some smoking. And you know I don't love the smoking, so I'm gonna step inside probably and grocery shop, but we'll see. Now for a quick shopping adventure for a few lunch items, and then we'll be on our way here. Gotta check out that hotel, gotta eat more of this food, and gotta share all my thoughts with you. Hawaii, yes. But let's see what else we can find. Here's a sale on baked bread here. Seems like baked goods. I don't know about the bread actually, but just these baked items over here. Um, it's interesting because everything seems so, so expensive out here, but at least you save 50% off on some of these things. So maybe I get a loaf of bread, maybe. 
Is that a lunch item? I, I'm not sure, actually. It doesn't really sound like a lunch item. Who knows? So this store just keeps going and going here. Maybe some cheddar sausage might be good for lunches with uncured bacon. Hmm, that sounds promising for six bucks. A few of them in there. I think I might do that, actually. I'm just gonna look at a couple more things. Oh, pineapple sausage, too. Ooh, so many delicious sounding choices. Spicy mango sausage? Ooh, maybe I'll try some of these. Just wanna take one more look back there at the snack aisle. And then I might come back for this. Ooh, and here's a manager special. You know me, always looking for the sales. A few items in that one. I don't know, maybe. Maybe worth looking at, maybe not. I don't know, I actually think two for five lunch meat sounds pretty good. So maybe I'll just do some salami and some bologna and call it grab that loaf back there and we'll be on our way. I think that's probably the way to go, just to grab some lunch snacks. So I've got my groceries, only a couple of items here. I got a loaf of bread and I got some salami. Got some pretty good deals, it was about four bucks because I got the bread half off and they were doing a deal here on the salami. So all kinds of sales going on. Now we're making our way back. Maybe we can do that hotel tour. Or maybe we should eat first, I'm not really sure. Good news, I had my bag with me. A little GameStop bag right there to put my stuff in. There's more bikes right here. So next time, if I need to come up here, I can use a bike. Now the thing is, I don't feel like I can bike back because my hands are full. So something to keep in mind, but next time maybe I'll take the bikes. For now, I think it's okay to walk and we'll just maybe snack along the way. See what you think of the foods while we're making our way and let you know what we think momentarily. As we're walking back, look at this beautiful view ahead of the Diamond Head Mountain. I love that sight. I found a moment to take a bite of that malasada. I think I got macadamia. Mmm, delicious. There's crunch in there. I didn't realize it seemed like there were almost pieces of the actual nut. Love that flavor. Not too sugary, but a delicious flavor. Like a soft, lightly breaded, airy bread donut. Again, not as sugary as our standard American donuts. And that filling is not too strong either. It's got a fantastic flavor, but not too much sweetness, in my opinion. 20 minutes left walking in this direction. Beautiful view on the right of that lake front. Maybe that's the golf course. I see a few people holding golf clubs and such. And ahead of us, we're getting closer and closer to Diamond Head. We're not walking Diamond Head today, but we're getting closer and closer. I also thought about Ubering back, but it seems like a pretty short walk. It didn't seem too expensive though, I'm gonna say. This short Uber ride would have been much less expensive, which is cool, but I figured, eh, why not walk it, see the sights? Haven't been able to walk and enjoy this view. Look at this beautiful view of Diamond Head back there as we're making our way back past Rainbow Drive-In. There's a gas station over here. Love that close-up mountain view as we're making our way back. We still have to hike it. We still have to climb it. I think it'll happen this weekend. Keep your eyes open for that. Now a good way past Diamond Head, making our way back at America's Diner, Denny's. You know, one more stop I want to make tonight is to see if I can drop in past the Hotel Renew. See if I can take a look inside. We'll ask them again since they said I could take a look earlier. See if it's still available. Hopefully it won't be an issue that I'm holding all my food. Who knows? And if not, maybe we'll enjoy some hotel time. I'm thinking about checking out that hotel pool. I think that might be really nice to enjoy. Whether it's today or another day, I think it'll be a nice one. I'll show you a clean room just so you can see like a layout view. Okay. I'll show you the all the city view. Awesome, thank you. Nice. Awesome. So they all have desks then? Perfect, perfect. But what's cool about it is these come with wow, a guaranteed balcony and then it does have an ocean view. Okay, awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice. Oh, wow. That's so awesome. Yeah, you get an ocean view even though it says city view. City view. And this is considered our, like, most cost-effective. This is the one I think I saw deals on online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So a lot of people are surprised because it's, like yeah. I said, marketed as city view, but it does have an ocean view. Yeah, this is beautiful. You got a great spot here. I love that. You can work here too. The rooms have them. Beautiful. Oh yeah, that's plenty big. Yeah. Awesome. That seems like it'll be plenty for that. So. Okay. Perfect. And then this is the bathroom right here. And that's the bathroom. All of the bathrooms. Beautiful. Shower tub, awesome. And all the noise just got shut out there. That's perfect. Love it. Yeah, small, but definitely uh, very comfortable. I like it. Thank, Thank you. you. So that's how it looks like when it's clean. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. Okay. So this is one of the drop rooms. Cool. And again, I'm Thank so you. sorry. No, you're fine. I just wanted to just show you how it looks like. Wow. Wow, so nice. Who is this that we're looking at on our left? So that is Aston Waikiki Beach. Mm, okay, okay. Cool. Yeah, just, just them uh, between the beach. That's so nice. Wow. Oh, it looks awesome. And then you're able to, yeah, change the thermostat through there. Am I able to? How, how would one do that? Is there like a little door that comes up? You can up? either pull that up or um, we have one on the wall. Oh, okay. That's beautiful. Yeah. 
Wow, awesome. Yeah. Cool. Did I read something about uh, breakfast as well? Breakfast is not included. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And then, yeah, you fill your yeah, water bottle right there. Go. Like coffee machine or something. Yeah, coffee machine, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. Really cool to check this one out. I love, I love the architecture in here. Really nice feel to it. Beautiful tour there of the Hotel Renew. So, so nice. Glad we had a chance to check that one out. Now, wow, I mean, I don't even know what to say. I was thinking about going home and eating some more of my food, but I almost wonder if I should ask the Aston Waikiki if I can take a look. I feel like Renew is probably where I'm gonna go at this point, moving forward, but uh, maybe it's worth looking at the Aston here. Mm, mm, we'll see, right? Can't, can't hurt to ask, maybe? And this seems like the parking lot for the Aston Waikiki, since we're here. Again, I figured why not, right? See if they have anything available. Just wanna take a quick look, sort of arrangement. They have a beautiful view. I saw that pool for them too, so can't hurt to ask. Hey, Hi. how's it going? Hi. All right, beautiful outdoor indoor lobby arrangement here at the Aston Waikiki Beach. I love this. So cool to be able to take a look at a few of these hotels. I feel like these two are in a great spot, so it probably doesn't hurt to just take a quick look since we're in the neighborhood. I was told the escalators were back here for upstairs, and indeed they are. Third floor is where we're going, and then we'll see if they can accommodate a room tour, or if not, that's all good too. I don't mind, you know, I think we'll be comfortable however things play out, but excited to be here. All looks good. No complaints. I think I think the lock boxes on the last place would be pretty good too. I don't see any issue with that. So nice, I like it. Definitely a comfortable setup. I can see staying at Renew. I'm glad I had a chance to take a look, you know, know what I'm getting into. The lock box, again, is important to me to store my laptop and that sort of thing. So we'll see. Oh, wow. Would you look at this? This takes us up right to the pool. Beautiful pool space right there. Although it seems like you can walk right into the lobby. So that's something to keep in mind. Let's see, where's that front desk? All right, I love the indoor outdoor feel on this one. But again, it feels like you can just kind of walk in. So who knows? Think about it. Something to think about. Oh, wow, would you look at this? Front desk is right across from the pool. That's a really nice setup. I don't know, is it, is it worth waiting today? To see if they're available to give us a quick tour. Possibly, I mean, with a pool like that, a view like that. Yeah, I think I think we should probably wait it out. Get a shot, give it a shot here. Okay. Sounds good. Awesome. Taking a quick look now at this beautiful hotel, Aloha from Waikiki. Really cool team here, allowing me to go check out that room myself. And we'll see, take a look up there, see what we think. Yeah. 21. 21. I think that's how we it. Oh no. Where is this one going? It's going to one. I didn't mean to go to one. I'm gonna go to 21. Let's see what happens there. B, okay, great. Now we have an elevator. A little bit tricky, there we go. Okay, making our way inside this one. Here we go, let's do it. All right, let's give it a shot. Here's the hallway of the Aston Waikiki. My room is to the left, but he told me to check out the Coconut Club to the right too. It's worth taking a look at to see what that looks like. You know, next time we're in town, that's where they do their complimentary breakfast. It sounds like. I'm not sure if that's on every single floor or just this one, but I'm excited to take a look. So nice they let me just take a card and check it out and share that with you. So we'll let you know what we think here today and who knows, maybe we'll end up staying here instead. Take a look into the Coconut Club. Amazing ocean view here at Aston Waikiki. Love that. It's currently closed for the renovations and such, but one of these days, you can go in there and get your complimentary breakfast at Aston Waikiki. Wow, looks so nice. Right up here would be our room, this 2104 right here. Just swipe your key card in there. Look at that beautiful city view. I'm stepping inside, let you know what we think on this one. Ooh, so cool to see. Stepping inside the room, you can see beautiful view all around us here. Those were the lights turning on, but you can see they have that safe. That's a nice looking safe right there. I think that would probably fit my computers in there. Indeed, very cool. You've got the closet space, as well as this bathroom right here on our right. Looks like with our bathroom, you have those complimentary soaps and a good amount of space here. Your toilet, your shower, all this great stuff. Really love the setup of this place as well. You got two winners. And then over here, you have your coffee machine, your king size bed, very cool to see, and your balcony view. Love to take a look outside this window. I wonder what hotel that is right next to us on that side, but Wow, beautiful views all around us. Let's step out there and take a look. 
can't hurt, right? So I had quite a bit of trouble trying to figure out how to open that door, but I did it. And now look at this unbelievable view from up on the 21st floor of the Aston Waikiki. I'm telling you, they're giving a competition to that Renew Hotel over there, run for their money. Both of these though, look like they'd be very comfortable winners. I wouldn't say that they're like the same level of newness as some of the other hotels maybe we've stayed in, but I feel like that's plenty fine. I mean, unbelievable ocean views. You have that safe in the rooms. You're in a great location. You can walk to the beach and Diamond Head. What more could you ask for? It's absolutely beautiful. Really glad to check this one out here today. So I think we've got a few great options here. I didn't even realize this little desk. You can use this desk for working instead if you're looking for a little work desk. that They don't quite have a standard desk here. Maybe you can use this counter or maybe over there you use that desk, whatever works for you. Also, they have those teas, the Kona blend and the Paradise blend, medium roast there. Nice, beautiful, beautiful hotel. We got two winners for whatever we decide to go for. I'm not sure, but awesome to see them both. Oh, wow, I didn't walk the rest of this walkway to see this Diamond Head view. Would you look at that? Incredible, Ocean Way in the back, Diamond Head right there. Unbelievable as we make our way to the end of the hallway. So nice, just another perk here of the Aston. I don't know, this one This one might be the winner here. I like it. Stepping back into our elevator now, just waiting for elevator B. I love the system they have. You type in what floor you're going to, and then they'll direct you there. You use your key card to scan this thing, type in a floor, and then you make your way. Let's get back to the lobby, give them a key card back, and ask them maybe a few other questions before we make our way. Something to think about tonight. Quite a few good options. Another beautiful hotel tour. Absolutely love this one. It's gonna be a tough choice for me. Figure out what's the best deal, what's the best arrangement, all kinds of deals going on at this one right now because those city views are closed. They sort of automatically upgraded you to that semi-city view, which is what we saw earlier. Overall, fantastic visit to both of these hotels. I'm thinking maybe we head back to the hotel and enjoy some of our food here, finish some food off, and maybe we'll hit the pool tonight, depending upon what time it is. Let's do it. Walking back to the hotel now, look at this unbelievable, beautiful sunset view. Absolutely love that. So nice to be out here in the nature, and yes, birds chirping in the tree above as well. So I ate a good majority of my drive-in plate here, but I was pretty full. Didn't want to finish it off, so I think I'm gonna save the rest of it for tomorrow. Maybe a nice breakfast or lunch for tomorrow. I also finished off that one macadamia malasada, which was delicious. Really enjoyed the bit of crunch in there, the smooth, not too sugary flavors of macadamia, in addition to that puffy donut, bready, puffy, sugary. Overall was fantastic, really enjoyed it. Now I'm thinking might be a fantastic time to check out the pool. I've been meaning to spend some time in that pool. Yes, the sun has set here in Hawaii, but that doesn't mean that I can't still enjoy the water. Am I right? So maybe I'll check out some pool vibes. Now, while we still have some time, let's make our way to that swimming pool. Enjoy some of those swimming pool vibes before the end of the night. Now making our way to floor number three. Enjoy this. 14 floor descent. And I don't know if I've taken the time to show you the elevators. I like this woody oak style look to them. We're almost there now. Let's check out this pool. Ooh, look at the pool at night here. It's got a nice glow to it. Get your pool towels here. Swipe key card to access clean towels. Um, not really sure how I do that. That looks like maybe the dirty towels. So let me scan over here. See if that'll do it. Open the door for your towels. Okay. Let me grab a one. I think that's probably enough. And we're good. Are we good then? Or RFID reader timeout fault? Fault reset? I'm not really sure. Okay. Place your key card on the reader. Cool. I think we're good. Now to pick a bench for my stuff. Should I put it over here? Should be on the other side over there? Um, I just hope it'll be okay here if I leave my stuff right here. Don't want anything to fly away or anything like that. Let's try it. All right, a little bit of pool vibes here. Look at this beautiful view above us. That's where we normally look out and enjoy that ocean front. Yes, I'm worried about how cold this water is. Let's find out. Ooh, a little chilly. Ugh, Ooh, maybe cooler than I want. Ooh. Yeah, it's cold, it's cold. Too cold? Maybe, maybe too cold. Ugh. Nice view of Saxon Avenue from here, though. I can see into the second floor of the store. Nice. Yeah, maybe daytime is better for the pool because it's quite cold right now. I don't know. Do I want to get in? Is this cold? Um, <laughs> not really sure. 
Ooh. I'm seriously considering turning back at this point. Um, yeah, maybe not. But while I'm here, look at this view of Saks Fifth Avenue. Really nice upper level view of Saks Fifth Avenue. It's quite chilly uh, tonight. I think maybe we'll hold off. Um, yeah, I think this is as far as I'm gonna go right here. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm done. So the pool's got a nice vibe, but I don't think it's the temperature for me tonight. Just a little bit too chilly. I think instead I'm gonna warm up inside. I think it's starting to rain as well. So that's gonna be my cue. I guess I will, uh, I guess I'll pool another night when it's warmer. Maybe a little earlier in the afternoon. And here comes the rain. So pool towels, we got our pool towels here. Swiped key card to access the clean towels. Open door and remove clean towels we did. Make sure door is closed properly. Looks like we're good on that front. Return towels to the return chute of the towel tracker. Towels checked in automatically, return towels here. So it sounds like this will make sure that we have returned our towel. I don't know how they'll track it, how they know it's my ID. But uh, there goes the towel. I won't be needing it. And uh, we're good. I don't see anywhere on this one to scan my card to let them know I returned the towel, but yeah, I think we're good. And although it was a bit chilly for the pool tonight, I'm glad I stuck my foot in it and got to take a good look at that nighttime pool view. It was really cool to see. Thanks so much for helping to make my day an amazing one. Don't forget to make your day an amazing one as well. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed of other positive adventures and focus on the positivity throughout your day, whatever it may be. Until next time, play on. Quite a bit of... So I'm taking my food. It's gonna be tricky with seat. Let's you know what we think here. I'm thinking about checking that beautiful tour there. Stepping inside the room, you can see a beautiful view all around us here. Looks like with our bathroom. Is that a lock up there? Not sure. I feel like that's plenty to fall. Not too sugary, but a little bit sugary with the, not powdered sugar, but kernels of sugar. Kernel sugar pieces, perhaps. Anyways, now I'm thinking maybe I will begin exporting these video files. Now I'm thinking maybe I'll begin. Thanks so much for being a part of the fun with me today and making it. House checked in here automatically 